This is David Schoen, who mans his tiny workspace inside Minute Maid Park on the other side of the outfield wall to make sure you're up to date on everything other than what's happening at Astros home games. What's it like to be the scoreboard operator at Minute Maid? Let's find out with today's Day in the Life. Hi, my name is David Schoen, and I change the scores on the manual scoreboard, also known as the out-of-town scoreboard here at Minute Maid Park. I was born and raised in Houston. Uh, parents used to take me to the Dome. Uh, you would see the manual scoreboards. You, you keep up with the numbers going on. Um, I was a teacher uh, for 30 years, and a friend of mine whose husband works here in the scoreboard department told me about it and said that the one place to start is in the manual scoreboard. Uh, I was attracted to that because it's very historical. There's only like three left in all of uh, Major League Baseball. You would think everybody keeps up with the scores while they're at the game, but they really don't. They still look down here to the manual scoreboard in left field, and they're checking out what all the other teams, especially the teams that we're in close competition with, and seeing what the, how they're doing that day. And every now and then they'll, they'll notice you or you're walking out here and and they ask what you do and you tell them and they're like, that's neat. They keep up with it. If we make a mistake now and then, they'll, they'll call us on it. When we finish the game, we'll turn all the numbers back over to where it's green on the outside of the wall. Um, if we need to move some games around because of the timing. So we moved a couple of games from the bottom level up to the top level. Usually we try to put the early games up top, the games that start later in the evening, eight, nine o'clock down on the bottom. And we keep up with it that way. It's a two level scoreboard. So we're running up and down stairs. Um, so we'll reset the games and then we put all the pitcher numbers. The numbers you see in front of the team name is the actual starting pitcher that we keep up with. And so we'll set all the numbers, uh, the pitcher numbers. And then as the games start up, we go over to the run totals and set the zeros and then uh, keep up with the game as it goes. When the game's over, we go back to the first inning and put a F in there for final and then clear out the scoreboard and just keep the, the total up there. I love baseball. This is part of this history. You've got this out here and you've got, it's part of the outfield. I love it because it's in the field to play, just like the ones at Fenway and Wrigley Field. It's, it's just a fun, great place to be.